Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to YouTube Tips and More by Stephanie. So before we jump in today's episode, let's get away, let's, <laughs> let's get some advertisement out of the way. is five dollar jewelry paradise an independent consultant of terry donald you can find her information listed below for her warehouse her website and facebook where you can peruse her content and enjoy hello everyone well today we're going to jump into some mics now we talked about this it was about two weeks ago when we talked about uh using mics for your YouTube videos. Now, I know a lot of people like myself, you record on your phone. So when you record on your phone, okay, I have a backup phone today. When you, rec I'm downloading videos as you see. Uh, when you record on your phone, you are, sometimes the mic is not like what you want it to be. And that's one thing I've learned that even though you do have the mic on your phone, that when you're far, uh, from a far distance, sometimes you seem a little muffled. And I'm sorry about the ringing. Um, this is my mom's camera in her room going off at motion. So if you hear that ringing, that's what you hear. You'll hear her, her ringing going off in her room. I'm trying to cut that down some. Okay. Now, when you're recording on your phone, a lot of the times when you have it from a far distance to get a, a full view of the room or what are you doing that time and you're talking, we can hear you, but we can't hear you. And that's because it sounds muffled or the tone is really low or you sound like you're underwater. And I told them last, uh, about, about two weeks ago, because last week was my wedding anniversary, and I thought I was going to do the show then until I looked at the date. But I uh, moved it to today so we could talk about different mics that you can use that are attached to your cell phone. Now, um, with this phone here that I use for recording, it has the whole, where is it? Right here on the bottom. Like for the old phones, you know, you have to plug in your mic, your, your earpieces with the plug in here. Well, though I have those types of mics, if you still have that one. And then for my newer phone, it only plugs in here. Let me get it open. It plugs in here only. So it doesn't have the other hole like it used to. It just has the one that you use for charging. So what I'm going to do today is that I wanted to make sure. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that it's everything that everyone has a mic they can use all my mics are reasonably priced the only one that was a little pricey you'll see that one but it's well worth it i put my little coins together and got that one it's not well it's more than the other mics so um today the first mics we're going to use is i have a little clip i'm going to show you and we're going to go through the different mics that i use to help me with my recording here on YouTube. So let's jump right into the clip where we talk about the different microphones that we're using. Now here's the first mic I'm gonna show you. It hooks up to your cell phone. Okay, it comes with two different adapters. Okay. It also comes with a cord to recharge them because they have a USB port on the side here. And then on this one, it's on this side. Okay. Now this end goes into your phone. And of course, you have the clip. Now, these have an on button. On the back is a small little button here to cut it on. So let me plug this in. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? 
Now this is the first mic, the small one, and I wanted to make sure that it was compatible, that you could hear everything that I was saying. Okay, now here is the second one. It has the part that you plug in and the mic. They both charge on USBs here. Now, when I bought this, I had it for my other phone that had the earphone plug into it, but you can buy an adapter to hook on here to hook it into the phone I have now or, or Apple or whatever, but it can hook into the computer. So I'm going to hook this into the computer. Now this part clips onto you so let me hook this up first. I know I have to adjust the volume. Let me stick this in on my computer. So I hope this is clear. I hope this is clear enough for you to understand me. I turned the volume up some on here. So I hope this is clear. So I will be switching to the next um, mic that I have is this one that it clips to you and it has a long cord now i keep it on here because the cord is really long but this mic here as well hooks up to the computer it used to hook to my phone and i am going to invest into another adapter because I like this one when I'm sitting or if I have somebody else here, it'd be a good thing to use. Now I'm going to hook this up to the computer as well and show you the difference. Now let's see how this one sounds. I hope it sounds great. It's plugged in. I love this one. I used to always use this one and hook it to my phone when I first, this was my first mic that I purchased, which was this one. And it clips onto your clothing and you can wear it and do your videos. And last but not least, I love this mic. is a it's called a blue i love it um i got this off of amazon and this is what i keep on my desk to do my voiceovers and even when i'm doing lives i use this one it's a usb right here on the back you see it usb powered so it's always plugged in it's called a snowball and I always keep it plugged in on my computer. And this is how I do my lives. And I also do voiceovers with this one because it's very clear. It cuts out the background noise. So those are the mics that I use.
I forgot to cut the mic back on. That is my bad. So let me do that over again. <laughs> now, like I said, with the older phone, with my older phone, I record with it. And it uses, it has the port in it for the older one and the new one, which I like that fact where I can use both. Now, like I said, this, I can't believe I didn't cut the mic back on. I can use, I like this one too, because this one here is a cordless one where this end here, once it's on, you'll see the blue light that comes on, but you know it is on. And it has the, like the old earphone plugs, it has it here on the bottom where this can plug into your phone. And then once you clip your mic on you, I can do a tablescape and walk around and talk and do whatever I'm going to do. And that's why I like that one. Now, also, I have the other one, which I do like, which I share. It has this little piece here. It plugs into where your, charge go, where your charger goes on this phone. And then you have your mic. So it makes it easy when you use your phone. Most of my mics, well, all of my mics that I have, except for the blue ball, all of them I got for use of a phone. And I have an Android phone. And a lot of these have adapters that will go into an Apple phone. Now, like um, this mic here in particular, it, has an, it comes with two ports, one for an Apple and one for an Android phone. So it's easy to use. It also comes with a backup clip unless you break your clip. But I like these mics. I tried to find something that worked with phones because I know that one day eventually I'll get a camera one day. Some things are a little pricey. So, but what I did compare some things, it's nice to have one of those cameras Ooh, yeah, but when you've paid over a grand for a phone, it has cameras that work just as well as that. It may not have all the features that you would like the camera to have, but when you pay a grand for a cell phone, it has a camera on it that records pretty good. I think you'll be using that. That's neat. I really need to invest. All, the, all of my mics that I use, or off of Amazon. Now, I think I put the links down below. If I didn't, when I finish this, I'll go and make sure I put the, the links for Amazon for these microphones if you're interested in any of these. But I try to keep my mics at a low price because everybody pocket can't handle, you know, buying one of those mics that, like the one I've been, I looked at and I was going to get until I seen it was like almost $200. I can't see myself. Right now, I know my pocket does not say $200 for a microphone. And it does not say, okay, Stephanie, you have $500 laying around. Go buy a camera. No. I have a cell phone that costs me over a grand. It has a camera on it. You can hook up mics to it. I'm going to use my phone. Now, I have my regular phone here, my, every, my phone that I call on, Okay. And this is the old phone. So my old phone, I use it as my recorder. I record my movies on it. Uh, whatever I record, I use that phone because I'm not financially wealthy where I can just go out and spend $500 on a whim on a camera when I have a cell phone in front of me. So until the day comes where I feel that I my content, my numbers are a little better. Then I may buy another, um, then I may buy another, I may buy a camera because I said that one day eventually I would like to buy a camera, but right now my numbers are not where I would like for them to be to spend that much money on a camera. Now, if I had about 20, 30, maybe 40,000 subs, or members, then I would buy a camera, maybe. Maybe. That's not saying I'm going to jump up and go get it. Because I think my phone, I think my Samsung does just fine doing the recordings that I want to do for my videos. 
Now, I saw a video, um, what was it, about a week ago, two weeks ago, one of my YouTube sisters, and her tablescape that she was doing, it was gorgeous. Her tablescape was just gorgeous. It was beautiful. But she was standing like on the other side of the table and talking to you. And all you heard was, that's all I could understand because she was using, I guess, her phone and there was no mic. Even though the phone comes with a built-in mic, but when you have that much distance, the sound is not great quality. You need to be able to hear crisp of what you're saying. So I really plead that you invest in a mic. They even have the ones called uh, a boom mic. You see, I'm still using an Android, but I probably should get a iPhone. I don't have that kind of money either. Hopefully I will be monetized in a year. I also, I'm almost, you're going to get there. But let me tell you what I found out. I was talking to a girlfriend of mine. She has an iPhone. But we both took a picture of the same thing with our phones. And I have a Samsung. It's an Android phone. I took the same picture that she took. All right. We took it just straight with the phone. And mine was a look. Mine was crisper. But then when I zoomed into it, it was even better. So I believe a Samsung takes way better pictures than an iPhone. That's my opinion. But I like my Android. She does me well. She does me real well. You know what, Renee? It took me a minute. I got kind of discouraged when I first started YouTube because um, I felt that my, my, my first couple of videos were crappy. I, I can't say they wasn't. They were. They were crappy. But then when I started using my phone to make the videos and learning a little bit here and there from other YouTubers, um, my numbers didn't jump like I thought they were going to do. I thought they were going to just go sky high, you know, but they didn't. Now, uh, when I first started doing YouTube, my husband and I had moved into this home in a city or a town called Richmond, on right on the outs, one of the sub sub uh, sub areas from Houston. We bought a home out there, and we were going to we were in the middle of getting everything ready for this home, and his mom got ill, and so we wanted to move her in with us, but the only bedroom that was downstairs was the master bedroom. So we got rid of that house and moved into a house that was one story. Well, we got the one story home and she had changed her mind. She didn't want to move in with us. And we had got rid of the first house. And when I was doing my videos at the first home, when I would put up a video, I would get a hundred and more views on each video. So I felt really confident. But then when we moved, my count went down. And I got really discouraged. But I really got um, hard hurting when I figured that my numbers would be higher because I didn't see that I was doing anything different than any of the other YouTubers. And my numbers were stagnant. They weren't going anywhere. And it took me forever to get uh, when I got 500. And it took me, I almost cried. I was, I cried to my husband and he told me to be patient, that it was coming. And I hit my thousand followers. And the come to find out, he had been watching my channel all this time. And he wanted to be the one to get me my thousand follower. And that's what he did. He waited till I had 999 people and he became my thousand subscriber or follower. He was my thousand follower to put me on. And I was really, I was so proud that I had got that thousand. It took me forever, it seemed like. And I got really discouraged because I watched other people who started with me, their channels took off. 
one of them in particular, she already has, she's had, I think, I think 80,000 80, people. Let me look her up right quick. Uh, I think she is at a, a thousand people. Where is it? Let me look her channel. She changed her channel name. So I'm, I'm going to have to go and look for her. Because she did change her channel name. Somebody's at my front door. My husband's checking the door. Let's see. Let me see if I can find her right quick and get her exact number. Because she started off a little bit after I did and I was really hard hurting that she's already over, uh, uh, she's already over, what's her name? I think she's already over 800 something subscribers. I believe she is. Let me look. Yeah, she did change her name and I have to remember her name. Yeah, she's already at 82,900 members. My numbers are just starting to go up. I finally getting more. Great, great. I'm happy for you. And it's because but you know what? Some I had to learn not to look at other people because I was looking at her channel and I, a couple of other ladies that started way after me. And they're already in, you know, almost at 20,000, almost at 30,000. And it's a little hard. You know, it, it kind of pulls on you on you a bit when you see someone who started with you or way after you and they've passed you and you're still stuck at the same number. I've been stuck at this number I'm on now for, it seems like eternity. I think it's been almost a year, I think. And my numbers haven't really changed. It'll go up and go down, go up and go down, but it'll go up maybe by 10 or 15 people, then it'll drop. Then it'll go up, then it'll drop. So it's a little heart, heartening, but don't give up. Don't look at other people's numbers, which most of us start off doing. Just be yourself and keep making your content and just improve like I did the last uh, last Sunday, Sunday before last. Uh, just improve yourself 1% each video and you're getting it. The girl does a, uh, the girl that does other tables good grew her channel. I know she did. And my thing is like someone told me that my tablescapes get the highest views but tablescapes are very expensive as you realize her tables are very expensive and she goes out thrifting and doing all the stuff to get other things hi denise she goes out and she thrifts all the time uh, to acquire the things she does in her her tablescapes, and she gets a lot of her her um, her things from Home Goods and uh, Z Gallery, and those stores are a bit pricey. They're out of my out of my pocket. But as I was talking to someone I follow, um, they advised me to try to at least do two to three tablescapes a month along with whatever I have planned to do at least two to three tablescapes. If those are ones that give me the highest views, then I need to incorporate in doing them more. So I'm really going to step up and try to do that. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to mm -mm, try is not a good word to say. I am going to do two to three tablescapes a month. Um, just for the decor part of it, because I do like decorating the tablescapes anyway, but I just didn't want to be known as for only tablescapes. 
because right now I'm doing my home. Yes, the tablescapes are, they are, they can run your pocket up. And if anyone ever saw, like I did my garage and you see all my dishes that I have in my garage. And that's not even counting the napkins and the plates, mats and the charger plates. And the that's not even including them. And then you've seen in my uh, formal dining room, my cabinet with all the wine glasses. Well, I still have wine glasses under the china cabinet. And so it, it does, it is a bit costly to do tablescapes all the time. They are a big cop. They, they can be costly, but I like to decorate tablescapes though. So I am going to try, mm -mm, no try. I am going to do at least two to three tablescapes a month. So I'll probably do like a color each month and, you know, do how many, you know, like this week do it all be green this month. So I do three different green tablescapes or something in that thing. I think I could do that because I didn't realize how many dishes I had in total until we did the garage. And I saw how many greens, how many reds, how many blues, uh, the purples, the yellows, the oranges. I really didn't realize how many of a certain colors that I had. I knew I had some, but I didn't know I had that many. But there are different things that I'm, I'm working on. And that's one thing like for I talked about the week before last, 1%, improve 1%. Well, I'm working on that 1% to improve. And also making sure that I use my mics. I want to do more. Um, I do my voiceovers that I do, but I want to be able to talk more in um, a lot of the videos that I do. Like I am started on the breakfast room and we ran into a problem that is going to cost some money. You know, when you get your home inspected, you think that everything is like it's supposed to be. Nope. It's not. I can't afford to do those either. I don't have the space to store place glass, etc. That's why I, I ended up having those shelves in my garage. And my husband told me that I don't need to be buying any more plates. So what I'm going to do, if I see something I want to buy, I have to get rid of something. So if it's a... Um, or just, I'm only buying dessert plates mainly. So if there is a dessert plate that I see that I want to get, then it has to be a set of dessert plates to leave my stash. I cannot keep buying dishes. I want to use the ones I have, but I know there are some of those dessert plates out in the garage that I haven't even used yet. Denise said, my proving 1% is trying to plan ahead for thumbnails. I got to do a better job on that. You're right, Denise. I've been... I've been working on that too. Uh, this program I'm in where I was sharing um, my thumbnails. And at first I had, you know, a title on the thumbnail. Well, the, a lot of the members suggested that I take the titles off and just put a picture up there and just have the picture to be very clear. So that's why you see me, if I do a tablescape, you see a setting only, one setting on there that shows the picture. Or if I'm doing, um, if I'm cleaning the painting the room, like I just painted the video for the painting, the breakfast area, you see the picture is of the breakfast room ceiling. I'm trying to show you a potential of what I'm gonna be doing, what that video is all about. I don't wanna have any clickbait because that's the downhearting when you do clickbait. Someone clicks on your video thinking that you're doing, you know, this, and it's something totally different. I don't, I don't want to be a uh, clickbait, but I am working on improving. And we took down the ceiling fan in the breakfast area. And we took down the brace that was with the old ceiling fan and we were putting up the new brace for the new fixture. And there's something wrong with the box. So now we have to get an electrician out here and to 
fix the mess that's in that ceiling. But I'm glad we found it so we can fix it and have it working properly. Because the way it the way it fell out let me know that it was not attached properly. And so we had to cut the power off in that room, period, because it was sparking. So yeah, I'm not finishing the breakfast room anytime soon. So I'm gonna have to switch to another room. Even though all the stuff for the breakfast room is in my family room, I have to live with it until we get the electrician out here to fix the mess in the ceiling so we can put the new light fixture up. But uh, that's why I really wanted to talk about the microphones. So when we're doing stuff like that to show you the rooms and the areas that um, if uh, if I'm doing any talking in there, then my mic phones are really clear. So if you missed a part, if you have any questions about uh, the mics that I showed earlier or any questions at all about microphones, ask me now and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Because at the beginning, I showed four different mics that I have purchased that I use. Three of them go with my cell phone. The other one, as you see, is my voiceover mic. I use this one. I love this mic. I truly do. It stays hooked up to my computer at all times. My other mics, they uh, go to the phone. Now, some of them are for Android phones because I have an Android phone. But the, they do have an adapter you can buy on Amazon to hook them up to an Apple phone. She says, I have to remember to take pictures when I do shop with me videos. Sometimes I forget to take a picture. I probably need to get a picture done before. I, yes. Um, what I used to do when I would do shop with me, I would take a picture of the front of the store when I come in. And then the first shelf I got to, I would take a picture. Who is this? Good evening. Hey, Stacy. I like that picture, girl. That's a good picture. I like that. I jumped on late. I'll have to catch a replay. But wait, the voiceover mic, is that for a computer or phone? It's for a computer. This one here, I love it. It's from Amazon. Let me put it in the camera. And it's, um, it's uh, what is this thing called? It's called the blue and I like it. It's the snowball, but they have a black one. Now I bought this one and I looked back at it the other day to see they have it, but it's out of stock right now. They have the black one like this one. So I got the white one because I'm special in the head sometimes. So I got this white one because I just wanted it to be white, I guess. But I use this one for my voiceovers. And the reason why I like this one, Denise, it, um, this one here, let me get you off the screen. This one, this mic here, it kind of takes out the background sounds. So all of, it, it knocks out the background sounds and it makes everything sound crisp and clear. What'd you say, Stacy? I'll catch the replay for the mic, this video. I know, that's why I did this video for you. I should have texted you and told you that I was on with this show tonight. I should have, I started to text you. But I have, like I said, all my phones, all my mics are for phones except for my voiceover mic. It is the only phone, only mic that's not for my phone. Now, I have the mics, like like I said earlier, that go into the ends right here, like the old microphones, all earpieces used to go into. It'll go here or it'll go there. So, and my mics are for Androids, but they do have an, uh, an adapter cord on Amazon that I can hook to these and hook them into my Android phone. It also has the adapter to use these for Apple phones. So please watch the replay so you can see the mics, the different color, different types of mics that I shared with you tonight, and also the cost. Uh, I try to keep my cost down. My pocket is not that cost. She said, I was on the road, just got back from family. Oh, in Baton Rouge, really? My husband is from Baton Rouge. You might know some of his people. 
The last name is Thigpen. But um, we were up there, I think it was two months ago. But we're going to make a trip up there because we want to go up there for one of our grandbabies' um, birthday is coming up. And we want to go to her birthday up there in Baton Rouge. So we'll be going up there. She's turning, let me see. We have eight, should be nine this next month. So it's nine, seven, six, five, four, three. Should be three. Should be turning three. Is that right? Should be turning three. Seven, six, five, four, three. Should be turning four. That's what she'll be turning. She'll be turning four on her birthday. So we want to go up there for her birthday party because she'll be four. And we want to surprise her. She um she says she wanted um this Barbie doll. She wanted the one for um what's the movie? The mermaid. She wanted the new mermaid doll and stuff. So we we've picked her up some stuff for mermaid husband's family. I will ask his mom when okay. I know you are. You get tired, girl. You be tired. Them family unions wear you out in that trip, that drive back. Especially if you're driving, it wears you, it wears you out. But I did share the mic tonight. What did she says? I don't know how to do voiceovers. I don't have the proper editing tool. I use you cut on my phone. You know what? I look for you cut. The editor doesn't have the feature to do uh, any audio. If it does, I miss. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna download it on my phone and play with it, and see what you cut has to offer, uh, because I want to be able to help people who are uh, with all uh, software. Like I was asked um, how to do uh, shorts with uh, your editing software. Well, my editing software. Okay, Stacy, my editing software has a part before you go to upload it, you know, before you go to uh, import it, it has a section where you can click to do shorts and it automatically does a short for you. So, but I looked at someone, a software I downloaded the other day and I can't think which one I downloaded. I downloaded a software the other day and it didn't have anything about uh, shorts on it. So I'm going to do some more research for you guys and show you how to do a short with your already used video because all you're going to do basically is go in and find a section that you think that will catch people's attention so i will be working on that uh probably for in three weeks because i have a guest next week and then a guest the following week so after that i know i was going to do b-rolls um show you how to make a b-roll and then um, after that, I'll try to look up more stuff on how to do uh, shorts. Now, what did he have? Okay. I'm making my notes. Okay, I'll look for that, Denise. What um, what uh, editing software do you need? You use, Denise? Uh, some editing software already has it set in there. You have to remember to click a button or poke, click off for it to do a short. So what editing software do you use? So I can check it out and see if they offer it in that software. Let's see. I know UCut is a cell phone editing software. And I'm going to download that one. The other one, I can't remember. It was, oh, I can't remember what it was. I downloaded it and I played with it. Use Adobe Premiere Pro. I don't know how to set. Okay. I will look into Adobe Premiere. I've been really thinking about switching over to Adobe Premiere. 
because my son says it's better, but I know I have, what am I getting through Adobe? I'm getting, um, I use after and I use, what are the other ones I use with Adobe? Excuse me, the nose is itching. Um, let me see my programs. Okay, with Adobe, I use Adobe After Effect, and I dabbled in the Adobe Illustrator. I have the Adobe Meteor Encoder and Photoshop. That's what I have. So, but I've been thinking about doing Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's see. What did you say, Stacy? I had a great night, everyone. I need to do yes. Go ahead. You you can get it, girl. Get you some rest. That that journey from Louisiana can can burn you out. I I truly know. But Denise, I will look at Adobe Premiere Pro and see how they do their um editing, how they uh do shorts. Because most now I know I use Filmora. And on Filmora, they have a, a spot where you just click it and it'll make your short. But I'm going to look into it. And when I get it, I have to make sure I get it right. But I only, what is she, Denise says, Adobe Premiere Pro is amazing, but I only know what I know. I don't know how to use the others. I got them before, but I have not tried the other piece of, Okay. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing Adobe Premiere Pro to advance, but I know Filmora has a lot of the same things, but I'm going to look into it because I want to learn more, and I know what I don't understand. I'll, I'll, I'll ask my son. Maybe he has it. If he has the Adobe Suites, he may have it, and if he does, then I'll just get his code and <laughs> use it and play with it. But I, I'm not sure if he has it, but I'll ask him. But I know I have After Effects and Photoshop. I use them quite often. But I will, I'm will. i going to dig into shorts so I can show you how to do a short and how to make it easier to make one, rather, on your film. Because if you're using your software and once you download your video or upload it to YouTube, however you do it, you should still have a copy on your um, your editing software, and you should be able to do a short. But I'll I'll walk you through it. I'm gonna work on that for you guys to make sure you understand how to do it. But please go back and see the beginning talking about the microphones. I think it was it'll be helpful to everyone. I even put the prices up of the ones that I have that I'm using. <clears throat> and please forgive me. I did not turn the mic back on when my presentation uh, finished. I thought it was back on. And Stacy let me know there was no sound. And I realized I didn't cut the mic back on. So I was babbling. You'll see my mouth moving for a couple of minutes before uh, you hear anything. <laughs> but I am, as I said, working uh, one bit at a time. I've got all those Adobe pieces I bet you have for me. I probably do. I'll, I'll have to go and look in it and see. I probably have it and haven't even realized that I do have it. Because I'm always clicking on something or add something different on. Because <laughs> I'm a software nut. I like to try different software. And two software companies, two editing software companies have contacted me and want me to look at their software to do a review on it. So that's going to be interesting. I'm just having a lot of trouble downloading their contracts so I can read and sign their contracts so I can get access to the software. Because uh, the both that kind of contacted me, I've heard a lot of people using those, and it'll be interesting to see how those two uh, different softwares work. So I'm looking forward to that. So I am going to let you guys go um, because we have to go get dinner because the stove is not working. Yes. <laughs>
And when we moved in here, my husband asked me, do you want a new stove? And I said, no, this stove worked just fine. We haven't even been in this house a year and the stove is out. So I priced the stoves and because the size of my stove is going to be $2,000 to start to look for a stove to fit in that place. It is not a regular size stove. I thought it was, but it's not. Our oven is a 36 inch and they start at 18 and up for oven, a gas oven. Yeah. So we're going out to dinner because we have no oven. We have no stove. I don't know. It's just one of those days. And then to make it part, I tried to find the parts. They discontinued that oven and they do not have the parts and they're not making the parts. So we have to buy a new stove. But anyway, thank you for coming on tonight and joining me as we talked about easy to use microphones. And please catch the replay. And I want to thank my replay people because you always do a girl really good. And if you came in late, please, I please go back and check out the beginning where I share with you four different mics that I have. All my mics were purchased at Amazon. I, if I didn't have the links below, I will put the links in down below for each microphone if you're interested in purchasing any of the ones that I have. And then I am going to go on Amazon and find those attachments to add to the down below. So if you need that attachment to hook it to a Apple phone or another phone, then you'll have that attachment. Uh, I know. Thank you, Stace. Thank you, Renee. And I will catch you ladies next week. We have a guest next week. And if you would like to get my newsletter, I send out a monthly newsletter. So if you're interested in getting my newsletter sent to your email, let me know. Let me know down below. Leave your email address down for me and I will put you in my listing so you will receive my monthly email. I mean, newsletter. I told myself a year ago that I wanted to do a newsletter. And that was on my vision board for the year. So I started doing a newsletter. So my newsletter goes out every month. It goes out on the 29th of every month for the following month. So um, August came out on the 29th of July. So you should have received the August newsletter. And I'm happy with my newsletter, but I do want to add some improvements to it. So if there's anything that you think that it'd be appropriate to put in that newsletter, let a girl know down below. And I will try to put that in there too. But I'm doing what I can. I want to improve 1%. And that's what I plan on doing. So thank you all for coming in this week and seeing the show on Easy to Use Microphones. And I'll see you next week with my guests. Bye-bye.